Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rudy Mestes. <laughs> to our families, friends, and Maple staff, I would like to thank you and welcome you all to the 2013 Maple graduation ceremony. And to those of you who thought of me as the nerd kid, Ike Maite Lenvitie Kendilisi Orkove, which is Elvish, like they speak in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and <laughs> I won't translate that right now, but if you really want to know, um, come ask me later. <laughs> As incoming freshmen, we're encountering another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Tom grabs us by the wrist, directs us where to go. That was a quote from a Green Day song. <laughs> I don't know if any of you caught that. <laughs> Some of us will be attending Wasco High School, and others of us are lucky and will be attending Shafter High School. <laughs> <laughs> While we'll be competitors on the fields, we'll always be friends, and we'll always be family. We're all gathered here to celebrate the end of a chapter in our lives and the beginning of a new one. And I would like to share some fond memories I have of my time at Maple. In fifth grade, we had an overnight trip to uh, Windwolves. Um, <laughs> my loving father over there chaperoned on this camp out <laughs> and decided that he would scare the teacher. <laughs> when everyone went to their tents for the night, he waited until it quieted down a bit, crept over to the teacher's tent and produced his best evil laugh. <laughs> Following his laugh was a loud thud as the teacher fell out of her cot. <laughs> Early the next morning, my father was making Blair Witch dolls out of sticks and hanging them from the teacher's tent. <laughs> Needless to say, my dad was not invited back to Windwolves. <laughs> Camp Keep was another memorable experience. The hikes and campfire songs were so much fun, but the best part was beating Mr. Cranfield at Tetherwall. <laughs> Other fond memories, such as the many times I've gotten hit with sports equipment while playing sports, were great. Just, just great. <laughs> I actually one time went into the girls' bathroom and checked to see if I had a Target paint on the side of my head. <laughs> yeah, those were the good times. <laughs> as I have slaved over writing this graduation speech, I've reflected on my eighth grade year, and I've realized that eighth grade is like toilet paper. You don't miss it till it's gone. <laughs> I would like to thank my family for their prayers and being so supportive. For their support has truly helped me be successful in school. I encourage every family here to be supportive of your children and to stand behind them in their education and they too will be successful. Stand behind Maple School, even with the busy work schedule, there is always something that can be done to help our school. And I'd like to give a special thank you to Mrs. Hart for coming to Maple and taking on the challenges Maple has presented her with and being supportive. Mrs. Hart embraces all of us and treats us as her own. And I would also like to thank Google <laughs> and, and my teachers, of course, for, <laughs> for helping me through all my years at Maple and <laughs> being supportive of me when I was shy and encouraging me to speak out and to always do my best. I would love to name off each of you, but that would take a long time. As for my classmates, <laughs> I've known most of you for over nine years. I will miss you. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> you all have in some way helped me to become who I am today. Classmates, I want to say to you, our families are extremely proud of us and what we've achieved. And we can't imagine the sense of relief and joy they're experiencing right this moment. And if this is the only thing you remember from my speech, I would want it to be this. This is a perfect opportunity to ask for money. <laughs> I'll see you, Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Growing up is never easy. We hold on to things that were, wonder what's to come. But tonight, we know it's time to let go of what has been and look ahead to what will be. And Nelu Igu Venid Ven Neme Rai, which is once again Elvish, and I'll translate it this time. It means until next we meet, farewell. I'm out of here. <laughs>